Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am Elder Cosman E. Sims. And we're of Jesus, Jesus Reigns Restoration Jesus. Ministry. Praise the Lord. This is part two of our lesson. God is love. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Would you turn your Bibles to First uh, John four and seven? First John four and seven. We'll be reading from. Uh, verse 7 to verse 21. Read verse uh, uh, 7, please. Verse 7, katika jini la buwana. Wapenzi na mpendani kwa kuwa pendo latoka kwa mungu na kila penda ya mezaliwa na mungu na e anamjua mungu. Beloved, let us love one another for love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. You're born of God. You know God if you display love, the love of God. Upendo wa mungu. Could you say that please? Yani, kama ukionesha upendo, wewe unamjua mungu, na unaisabika kuwa umezaliwa na mungu. Amen. Amen. To love one another. Let us love one another. The apostle is encouraging us to do which God commanded us to do. He said, a new commandment I give you, that you love one another. Hapa mtumishu wa mungu, anatuhimiza tupendane. Kwa mana, tukipendana, inamanisha upendo wa kristo. Tunadhihirisha upendo wa kristo umu ndani yetu. Read verse 8, please. Daswa manane katika jina labwana. Yeya siye penda, hakumjua mungu. Kwa maana mungu ni upendo. He that loveth not, know if not God, for God is love. You don't know God. You don't you don't know of his spirit. You don't have his spirit. You're not if you have his spirit, you're not displaying his spirit properly. Kama huoneshi upendo, ina maana huna roo mtakati, huoneshi upendo au uwepo wa roo mtakatifu ndani yako. Kama una roo mtakatifu ndani yako, inabidi uweze kuonesha upendo. Yeah, hallelujah. You don't know God. Why? Because you're not displaying God. The spirit of God should be he that spirit of Christ is in you. If you're not displaying that spirit that's in you of Christ, then you don't know him. You don't have it. And if you have it, you're about to lose it. It will, according to First uh, Corinthians, 13th chapter, it will vanish. It will go away. Kulingana na uraka wa kwanza wa korinto kumina tatu, unaatari ya kupoteza roo wako mtakatifu. Kama guoneshi upendo. Amen. Amen. Verse 9, read that please. Sari wa tisa, ntasoma katika jina la buwana. Katika hili, pendo la mungu lilionekana kwetu, kwamba mungu wa memtuma mwanawe peke ulimwenguni, ili tupate uzima kwa yeye. In this manifest the love of God towards us because God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. Amen. Amen. They talk about the sacrifice, God's passion, that hallelujah of the cross, that where the shedding of his precious blood, hallelujah for the remission of sins, that we will have an opportunity of eternal life to be with him. Amen. Yani kuwa kupata uzima wa milele, tuoneshe upendo wa Kristo, tumpende Mungu, tupende watu wake, tutii neno lake, tuweze ku, ku, kupata uzima wa milele. Verse 10, read that please. Tasoma 10 katika jina la Bwana. Hili ndilo pendo, si kwamba sisi tulimpenda Mungu, bali kwamba yeye alitupenda sisi, akamtuma mwanawe kuwa kipatanisho here in his love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be a perpetuation for our sin, a sacrifice for our sin, which I just explained. Amen. Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever 
believe upon him shall not perish but have eternal life. So naona vile waraka wa Yohana mtakatifu 3:16 anasema Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu akamtoa mwanawe wa pekee ile kila yule aminie asi asiangamie bali apate uzima. It was God's love. Hallelujah. For you and I. Hallelujah. That he will sacrifice his life for our liberty. Atoe maisha yake kwa ajili ya uhuru wetu. Amen. Amen. Read verse 11 please and 12. Kumi na moja na kumi na mbili katika jina la Bwana. Wapenzi, ikiwa Mungu alitupenda sisi hivi, imetupasa na sisi kupendana. Hakuna mtu aliyemwona Mungu wakati wa wote. Tukipendana, Mungu hukaa ndani yetu. Na pendo lake limekamilika ndani yetu. Beloved, God so love us, we ought to also love one another. Amen. Wa jinsi Mungu alivyotupenda, nasi tunapaswa kupendana vivyo hivyo. That's self-explanatory. Hiyo inajielezea yenyewe. No man have seen God at any time. Akuna. If we love one another, God dwell in us and his love is perfected in us. Amen. Amen. 12 Hakuna mtu aliyemwona Mungu wakati wowote. Tukipendana, Mungu hukaa ndani yetu. Na pendo lake limekamilika ndani yetu. Amen. Amen. If we love one another, tukipendana sisi wenyewe kwa wenyewe. The man of God is telling us hallelujah through the his word through the word of God and through the Holy Ghost. Mtumishi wa Mungu anatuambia kupitia neno la Mungu na kupitia Roho Mtakatifu. That God dwell in us. Kwamba ni uhakiki kwamba roho wa Mungu, roho wa Kristo anaishi ndani yetu. Amen. Amen. We know that he dwell in us because we have his spirit. Tunajua anaishi ndani yetu kwa maana tuna roho wake. When he the spirit of truth come to you, he will lead you and guide you in all truth. Yaani yeye roho wa Kristo akiwa ndani yetu tuna tuna uzima wa milele. Don't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost where God dwell? Yeah, how do we uh mili yetu ni hekalu la Roho Mtakatifu ambapo roho wa Mungu anaishi. According to scripture, according to the word of God, if you defile God's temple, he will destroy you. Kulingana na maandiko, ukiharibu roho roho hekalu la Roho Mtakatifu, Mungu atakuharibu. But you can def, you can defile God's temple with hatred. Jinsi moja wapo ya kuharibu na kunajisi hekalu la Roho Mtakatifu ni kwa kuwa na chuki. And that's of the devil. Na hiyo ni ya shetani. Amen. And Amen. God will not dwell in no unclean temple. Na roho wa Kristo hawezi kukaa katika hekalu lililokuwa na jisi. Remember God is love and the love of God will leave you if you don't display it. Kumbuka upendo wa Kristo utaishi ndani yako lakini usipo utumia, usipo onyesha kwa watu upendo huo utapungua na utatokomea Remember Jesus said if you love me you will keep my commandments Kumbuka Bwana Yesu alisema tukimpenda yeye tutachunga tuta amri zake Whatsoever I tell you Chochote kile anachotuambia The children of Israel sinned against God with idol gods and and disobey God's word and the love of God left them Wana wa Israeli walimkosea wali Mungu kwa kupungua upendo wa Mungu ndani yao na Mungu aliwaacha. God allow his enemies to whip them. Mungu akaruhusu adui zao kuangamiza. Enslave them. Kuwaweka utumwani. It was only for a while. Ilikuwa kwa muda kwa kitambo kwa kipindi fulani. But they hallelujah they was even taken out taken in exile by King, King Nebuchadnezzar for 7 70 years. Tukaona mpaka akaruhusu akachukuliwa kwenda utumwani nchi ya mbali na mfame Nebukanaza miaka sabini. Because they did not display the love of God in keeping his commandments, keeping his word. Kwa maana hawakuonesha ndani yao upendo wa Kristo kwa kutunza amri zake. And they lost the love of God for had among them had wax cold na upendo wa kristo ndani yao ukao umekuwa baridi amen amen not honor the true god which is the lord thy god wasipo msifu na kumheshimu mungu wao wa kweli seeking other gods wakitafuta miungu mingine the lord jesus the lord god said i'm a jealous god and put no other god before me bwana akawa ameshawaambia wasiweke miungu mingine mbele yake yeye Amen. Amen. Provoking God to jealousy. Wakisababisha Mungu akaona wivu. I'm your creator, I worship you 
I mean, the Lord said, I'm your create creator. I created you. I, I created you in my image, but you're going to seek other gods. Alikuwa na waonya. Anasema, yani mimi nime waumba ni mwana mungu wenu nime waumba. Mnaenda leo kutafuta miungu mingine. Feeding you, clothing you, protecting you, and you seeking other gods. Yani nime walisha, nime waveka, nime walinda. Leo mnaenda kutafuta miungu mingine. Mwana alikasirika sana. Where's the love? Upendo wao. You lean into your own understanding. You're doing your own thing. Where is the love? Yani upendo uko wapi. Praise Mungu God. Ufata, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse, uh, verse, let me go to verse, uh, nine, uh, verse 10. Here in the love, uh, here in is love. This is love. That that uh not that we love God but that he loved us and sent his son for uh uh for our sin a sacrifice for our sins beloved if God so loved us we ought to also love one another no man have seen God at any time if if we love one another God dwelleth in us and his love is perfected in us. His love is perfected in us. Hallelujah. Upendo wa Mungu unakamilika ndani yetu iwapo tunampenda Kristo inapotakiwa sana maandiko. Mstari wa kumi unasema, hili ndilo pendo, si kwamba sisi tulimpenda Mungu, bali kwamba yeye alitupenda sisi akamtuma mwanawe kuwa kipatanisho kwa dhambi zetu. His love being perfected in us. Remember I told you the scripture say a uh, perfect love cast out all fear. Kumbuka maandiko yanasema upendo uliokamilika huondoa hofu yote. But if you fear, lakini ukiwa na hofu, you're not perfect in love. Umepungukiwa ukamilifu katika upendo. You're not perfect in his love. Katika upendo wa Yesu Kristo. Amen. So Amen. that means there's a defection. Ina maana kuna kuku na kasoro. There's a breakdown. Kuna kuwa kuna mapungufu. There's a breach. Kuna kuwa kuna uufa. And you can't have any holes in your armor when you're fighting the devil. Na uwezi kupambana na adui shetani wakati una mashimo katika ngao yako. Amen. Na katika vazi lako la vita. Hallelujah. A little crack in a dam can turn into a big crack and destruction. Kukiwa na ufa katika dam ni ile ambayo inazuia maji kuleta umeme. Kukiwa kuna ufa kidogo tu linapasua hiyo hiyo nani yote. Amen. A little leaven will leaven the whole lump. Chachu ndogo, chache kiasi kidogo inaharibu donge zima. Amen. Amen. We have to be careful lest we let these things slip. And sometimes we do get angry. Inabili tuwa wangalifu eh, katika haya. But, Na wakati mungina tunakasirika. But we are instructed to be angry but sin not. Tunaelekezwa uh, tu, 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 tu kasirike, tutakwazwa, tuta lakini tusitende dhambi katika haya makwazi. There are things that are done on a daily basis to Christians that will vex your spirit. Kuna mambo ambayo wa kristo wanapitia na wanatendewa, ambayo yata chafua roho yako. Examples. Kwa mfano. Uh, people were using profanity. Kwa mfano, unakutana na watu wanatumia luga chafu. People with lewd behavior. Watu wanatabia chafu. Bovu. People dressing half naked. Watu wanavaa nusu uchi. Or being naked. Au wanatembea uchi kabisa. And, and people just with that lewd behavior, the perversion that, that goes on, that, that's being shown on various uh, media outlets. Naona uchafu, naona TV, TV, YouTube, Facebook, media, you name it. Facebook. Even in the street among our children. Hata kwenye mitaa hii tunayoishi mingine. Kati kati ya watoto wetu. Young man showing, showing his buttocks. He's to have his pants down around his knees. Unaona kijana natembea suruali. It's disrespectful. Inaonesha makari. Ni kukosa heshima. Ni kukosa maadili mema. Our young, our young daughters and girls dolled up like prostitutes. Unaona watoto wetu wasichana wanogo. Wanavaa kama makahaba. Doing lewd dances. Wanacheza michezi, yani dances za kipepo kabisa. Za and makahaba. as Apostle Paul was angry and upset with where he went, there was idolatry. People worshiping idols. 
Yani watu wanabudu, miungu mingine. This Mishipano, idol worship today. Alionya hayo. Na even of Satan. Yapo. Watu wanamabudu shetani wazi wazi. People wanabudu. serve and worship Satan. Watu wanamtumikia na kumabudu People bless Satan openly. Wanambariki, wanam... The Christ in me is vexed of these things. Amen. Because a fool says in his heart, there is no God. And, there, and there's people that don't believe, hallelujah, in the sacrifice that was made for their sins, the sins of the world by Jesus Christ. Yani unaona Bwana Yesu ametoa sadaka ya mwili wake kuteswa kwa msalaba wa Calvary kwa ajili ya ondolo la dhambi. Sasa anakwazika akiona jinsi ambavyo tunachafuliwa. I'm angry, I'm upset about it. Yanaudhi, yanakwaza. But what can I do about it? Lakini nini naweza kufanya? I'm going to witness. Nitaendelea kushuhudia Kristo. I'm going to witness the truth, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Nitaendelea kushuhudia injili ya Yesu Kristo, habari njema. I'm going to try to Persuade men to come to Christ and live. Najitahidi kushawishi watu wa yani waje waje kwa Kristo waweze kuishi. It's a time and place for everything. Kila kitu na wakati mahali pake. And it's a time to witness and it's a time to hold my peace. Ni wakati wa kushuhudia. Na kuna wakati mwingine Roho wa Mungu anasema hapo nyamaza. Amen. Amen. These examples that I'm given of being angry but not Sin, but not sinning against God or my body. Amen. I don't have to persuade men with my fists. I can persuade men with the knowledge and with the Holy Spirit that I have. Eh si uweze kumshawishi kumshuhudia Yesu Kristo kutumia ngumi, mikono, nini, mabavu. I have a testimony. How God saved me. And if he saved me, he can save you too. Amen. Hallelujah. Be angry but sin not. Show the love of God. The word of God said, pulling them out of the fire and saving yourself with fear and trembling. Watoe kwenye moto kwa hofu na kutetemeka. Pulling them out of the fire of hell in which they are in now being lost and not being saved. Kuvuta kuavuta kutoka kwenye moto wa jehanamu vile wamepotea. Amen. Waje kwa kwa Yesu Kristo. And if you can do that and do it with love, you God is perfected in us. Kama unaweza kufanya hivyo na ukafanya hivyo kwa upendo God is perfected in you. Amen. Amen. Let us go to uh, the uh, First John fourteen thirteen. Read that, please. First John, verse uh, four, verse uh, correction four and verse thirteen. Tasoma waraka kwanza wa Yohana sura ya nne msera kumi na chato katika hili. Tunafahamu ya kuwa, tunakaa ndani yake, nae ndani yetu, kwa kuwa, ametu shirikisha roho wake. How be it, know we that we dwell in him, and he in us, because he have given us of his spirit. Amen. Amen. Is a difference. Kuna tofauti. You got to know that. Christ is in you. Inabidi utambue na ufahamu kwamba Yesu Kristo The Bible said know how Christ is in you at least you be reprobate. Neno la Mungu linasema utambue jinsi ambavyo Kristo yuko ndani yako concerning the faith. Katika imani. Amen. Amen. A lot of people are reprobate. People are leaning to their own understanding. People got their own interpretation of Christ. Watu wana utafsiri yao kuhusu Yesu Kristo na jinsi ya kutembea naye. And 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 uh, what? How the body of Christ is to operate the church? They got their own interpretation, doing their own thing. Yani wana tafsiri yao, jisi ya kuenenda katika Kristo na kuonesha upendo wa Kristo na kutini na la Mungu. And having their own gospel. Na wana injili yao yani akivyao kabisa. Hallelujah. 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 And verse, I want you to read verse sixteen, please. Nasi, 
Tume lifahamu pendo alilonalo mungu kwetu sisi na kuliamini. Mungu ni upendo. Naye akae katika pendo hukaa ndani ya mungu. Na mungu hukaa ndani yake. And we know, and we have known and believe the love that God have to us. God is love. And he that dwell in love dwelleth in God and God in him. Amen. Amen. The, what this scripture says and is, is what I've just explained and expound on for the last few minutes. About the love of God being in us and we being in God and knowing him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Read 17, please. Tasoma 17 katika neno la Bwana. Katika hili, pendo limekamilishwa kwetu ili tuwe na ujasiri katika siku ya hukumu kwa kuwa kama yeye alivyo ndivyo tulivyo na sisi ulimwenguni humu. Verse 17. Herein is our love made perfect. People got a problem with the word perfect. Watu wana tatizo ukitumia neno ukamilifu. I'm going to come back to that but it says, here is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he is, so are we in this world. Amen. Amen. Yani, tunakuwa na ujasiri siku ile ya hukumu kwa mana kama ya alivyo ndivyo tulivyo hata sisi. As he is, so are we in this world. I told you, we have to walk as Jesus walked. Kumbuka tumeambiwa, tuenende kama vile Yesu Christo alivyo enenda. Hallelujah. In verse uh, uh, 1 John 4 and 12, it says, Hallelujah. And it says, God dwell in us and in his love perfected in us, his love being perfected in us. And here in the 17th verse, it says, here is our love made perfect that we have boldness in the day of judgment because he as he is, is, so are we in the world. Amen. Amen. It's perfected in us. Amen. Amen. God give us a spirit. It's, it's, it's a perfect spirit. It's a good spirit. It's, the issue is, is when we allow the flesh to take over. Amen. Amen. This is where the Holy Spirit comes in to be dominant over the flesh. There's always a war between the flesh and the spirit. But if we walk in the spirit, if we walk in the spirit, we will not fulfill, we will not do the lust of the flesh. We will not yield to the flesh to be mean and nasty. We will not yield to the flesh to do what we want to do. But our mindset is to serve the Lord. To be a child of God. To display his love. To walk perfect before him. Amen. As he told, hallelujah, his prophets. I believe he also told Abraham to walk perfect before me. Apostle Paul say, be perfect. You know what perfect is? When, I'm going to give you an example of perfect and we have to abide in it also. Jesus said, when I return, be without spot or blemish. He don't want us without spot or blemish when he comes. When, when they made sacrifice unto the Lord, they used Animals that were without spot or blemish. Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. Walking Amen. upright, walking holy, doing those things which God commands us to do as the children of God. Walking in His righteousness, walking in His holiness, living, safe, and sanctified lives, being witnesses and examples of His holiness. God sees and honors that as perfection. Amen. Amen. You drive your car, you go to the store, you ride around for hours, you see family and friends, you drive back home, there was no accident, you didn't get robbed, you didn't get shot, you're not in the ICU, the emergency room, that was a perfect trip. Amen. Amen. Verse 18, please. Read that, please. 18 and 19. Katika pendo hamna hofu. Lakini pendo lililo kamili huitupa nje hofu. Kwa maana hofu ina adhabu. Na mwenye hofu hakukamilishwa katika pendo. Sisi tuwapenda kwa maana yeye alitupenda sisi kwanza. There is no fear in love, but perfect love cast out fear. Amen. Amen. Perfect love. God's love is perfect. Wa mungu uko kamili. Hauna hofu. Because fear have torment. Yani, Hallelujah. E, hofu ina adhabu, ina and he that fear is made uh, he that f is not made perfect in love. Amen. I told you about that earlier. That hallelujah. That there is no fear in love, but perfect love cast out fear. Yani hakuna hofu katika upendo. Upendo leo kamilika unatupa inje hofu. Yani inabidi upendo uni upendo wa Kristo. Amen. Amen. I'm not, I don't fear what man should do. The Lord is my light and my my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is the strength of my life. And whom shall I be afraid? Amen. Amen. And that's why when the enemy kicks up his heels against me, he threatened me. It's right. Jesus said, fear not them that can kill the body but cannot destroy the soul. Yes, what it will be. To mwogope, usiogope wala no zuru mwili tu. Wanaweza kuharibu mwili peke yake hawa wanadamu. Bali mwogope yule ambaya naharibu mwili na roho. Ambaya ni ndiye mungu, yes, Christ. But fear him that can destroy both body and soul in hell. Yeah, fear him. Fear the Lord. Amen. Amen. People fear the devil more than they fear God. I don't fear the devil. I don't fear what man should do unto me. Why? Because the Lord is my help and I shall not fear what man should do unto me. And with the promise of eternal life, I don't care what anybody can say or do against this body. Ukiangalia ahadi ya uzima wa milele, hautajali mwanadamu anaweza kufanya nini mwili huu. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. He that fear is not made perfect in love. Amen. Yule mwenye hofu hajakamilishwa katika upendo. Read 19 and 20 please. 19 na 20. Sisi tuwapenda kwa maana yeye alitupenda sisi kwanza. Mtu akisema nampenda Mungu naye anamchukia ndugu yake ni muongo kwa maana asiyempenda ndugu yake ambaye amemuona hawezi kumpenda Mungu ambaye hakumuona We love him because he first loved us If any man say I love God and hate his brother he is a liar For he that loveth not his brother whom he have seen 
How can he love God whom he have not seen? Read 21 please. Ishina moja katika jina la Bwana na amri hii tumepewa na yeye ya kwamba yeye ampendaye Mungu ampende na ndugu yake. And this commandment have we from him that we ought to love God or have correction. And this commandment have we from him that he who loveth God love his brother also. Amen. 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 To love your neighbor. Umpenda if he's telling you to love your neighbor, he's also telling you to love your brother, love the brother, love the sister, love one another. Ukiambiwa okay, umpende jirani yako na ndugu yako, unani tupendane, anamaanisha tupendane wenyewe kwa sisi wenyewe kwa wenyewe wanadamu. We are brothers and sisters in the Lord. Sisi ni ndugu katika Bwana. Fathers and mothers in the Lord. Baba na mama katika Bwana. God command us to love one another. He said a new commandment I give is that you love one another. Amen. Amen. Well, there be Paul wrote about wars and bickerings and fights in in, in the church of God, in the house of God. And that these things should not be. Amen. I ain't going to church. I'm not going to the house of God to fight and argue and to uh to be mean or to be nasty. Yeah. When souls need to be saved. When God need to be worshipped, God has brought me through and gave me life that I'm able to, I'm in the land of the living and I want to go and say thank you and give him glory, give him worship. I can't take that. I can't take hatred to his, his altar. Siwezi kupeleka chuki katika madhabahu yake. Amen. Amen. So that we love that hallelujah. It says and the commandment is that we to not only love him but to love one another, love our brothers. Amen. How are you going to say that you love God and you uh, uh, hate your brother you see every day but you love God that you don't see. Tasemaje unampenda unam Unampenda Mungu lakini unamchukia ndugu yako ambaye unamuona kila siku. Amen. Amen. This conclude part 2 of our lesson. Hapa tu ndio mwisho wa sehemu yetu ya pili ya somo hili. God is love. Mungu ni upendo. Amen. Amen.